I'm usually the only girl and usually also the youngest one by probably 20 years every time I go somewhere. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I really just started doing a little bit because we didn't really have an ice, like a set ice maker at the rink. So if we wanted good ice to practice on, we had to do it ourselves. And then I decided I wanted to learn more. So I went to the, the ice tech course in Fusen and then it kind of just rolled on from there. People think you just freeze water and play on top of it, but there's a lot more involved. They're like, oh, you just do this and this. I'm like, no, I have to do this and this and this and this and then this, and then you can play. And then all the rest of maintenance, like everyday maintenance, like cleaning, making sure there's no dirt around, all the little things that don't, people don't really realize that you have to do. I've done the opposite. I made ice first and then I learned how to play curling. And from knowing both, it really does help. Um, but there's a few curlers now who go to the courses in Fusen um, just to learn more about ice. It must give them an extra wee edge on it. If it's frosty on the ice or anything, they understand that a bit better. So yeah, it'd be a massive advantage. Yeah. I think everyone should know a little bit about ice. So to get a little bit into it, it's an advantage for everyone, I think. I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs>